of one shot into this final round at the third. After a birdie at two, back to back goes Boo. I think she's going to stay away from that bunker. We've seen most of the wind out of the wind. Short here. Let's see if she can get it hole high. Yeah, she's aiming a little further to the right. Playing safe to the center of the green. Maybe a little further right than she would have liked. With some right to left movement. Yeah, this needs to get going. No. Yeah. She has all it takes to be a winner out here. Yeah, at 11 on the T now at 12. Six iron in hand, aiming for that front yardage number. I don't think she caught all of that. It's okay, though. Uh, as many... Nothing wrong with the par at the 12th. Do that. So she'll probably play a little more to the right. What are you doing? And that was down the left. It looked like it found the bunker. 27 to the hole. They're playing a little bit longer as that wind's picked up hurting. She's pulled this a bit. Got away with it. She was worried about that bunker. And now it's sort of... And quite a bit of speed coming back down that hill. Got it. Just bang on line from the French woman. Drifting a little to the right, but it's better to miss it to the right for sure. You just don't want to miss it left. And she can try, kind of tried to hit Paige, I think, a little bit of that chunk and carry type of shot, and it just didn't carry far enough. Uh oh. Looked like it came out left from the beginning. <laughs> what she may need to do down the last few holes whether it's to play like conservative yeah this peeling a little right as well but i don't know if it has the oomph to get there to that bunker i think it may just be short yeah it's gonna stay short yeah it's a bit of the um the area of grass that's not been overseeded and bailing out a little bit left which actually she dialed in the distance pretty nicely. Magical number of 20 under. No, never got that high enough. Everything breaks down towards Phoenix. Three to play, one behind. That, that, that's just fading a little bit. It's good, had a little left to right motion to it and then the wind just pushing it a little further that way, but it'll be fine. She was begging. <laughs> sit down, sit down. <laughs> it hasn't been as sharp. She's 140. But if it comes up short, it may not bounce on. That was an eight iron pulled. Hmm. That's the better spot to miss it. And she went a little more for the bump and run. And how about this? Oh, oh my. Brilliant. It surrendered so many yesterday with the different hole locations. So a clutch up and down for... Sounded pretty solid, drawing in nicely. Stop. Stop. Yep, danger is that huge first hop. Team Boutier at 17, has second. That, that was really well done out of a downhill lie, out of some of the thicker... Okay, well done. Down. She missed the fairway. Well, that was a very aggressive swing and a just a, a strong drive when she needed it. Mm. 
really good, really good. Oh, she flared it out to the right. Yes, it's safe, but a long way from the hole. God. She's been six for seven up and down so far today. Well, that was good, but not a... Clutch. And we're going to keep playing. And that's further down the left-hand side. Might try to flirt with the rough. She'll go first, we know that. Viva la France! Céline Boutier wins a duel in the desert. And she is the winner of the LPGA Drive-On Championship. She also doesn't have the absolute best lie. That was a little bit of a downhill lie. So she's bailing out to where she was in regulation. Not far away. Well, this has, has a lovely pace. 